Welcome to this video. Uh, the idea is to uh, uh, do a mix using the X Live Automate uh, program and uh, to push this to a friend who is in Taiwan and is going to be using this over uh, this time with the Reaper version of the program. So this is my PC where I have basically uh, five channels, uh, CH1 to 5, and I've been using my utility uh, to concatenate them into a session that can be used for the SD card. So this is the session, and this uh, session, once copied to the SD card, has been uh, set into the XLife board, which is on my X32, and uh, I'm going to be showing how the uh, program works. So I'm running the uh, X32 X Live Automate, searching for the console, it finds it, and I'm now here. Um, basically, I've set up already all the, um, the, the the faders as I want them to start. I've also set up some mute buttons, not to have all the channels uh, starting at once. And I've been basically uh, setting all the effects, everything that I need so that, you know, things are as clean as possible when I start. I'm now basically selecting the uh, session on the XLive board, and I can start uh, mixing. For this, I launch automation. Now it's launched. I also launched the uh, read and write. Uh, of the program so that every event from the X32 are going to be saved. I use a uh, headset um, to listen to what I'm mixing. Um, this all goes to the, you know, the system basically and the outputs of the X32. And I'm hitting the play button, which will start the, uh, the, the XLive uh, audio. I'm using those five channels, so nothing else matters here, but just basically those five channels, and uh, this is basically starting the first uh, uh, track of interest. Uh, th this one, I just uh, launched the bass, adjusting a little bit the volume, and I'm gonna sh make sure also that the, uh, the voice uh, is coming in. Um, I have one guitar coming in a few seconds, and the last thing is going to be drums. As I screwed up on the uh, the the song, basically for the, uh, the 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 singer, I restart, and I want to make sure that I hit the button at the right time. And I'm standing at the crossroads. Many roads Let's see. Uh, yes, this is a case. Okay, so my mix is going on basically, and as you will see, I will play with uh, volumes, uh, some knobs, you know, things like that. Basically, everything you do when you do a mix, you just adjust a little bit the volume, some EQs, uh, some elements like that. But again, the, the goal of this video is not to show you how bad or good I am at mixing. I'm generally pretty bad, um, but basically, what the tool can do. So. Everything is recorded, and again, the goal is really to pass on that automation file that records everything here um, to a friend, so we can do the same thing with the same audio files extracted from the XLive uh, card, the SD card, which is inside the, uh, the XLive uh, card. Um, extract the audio and put that in Reaper, and use the X32 Reaper Automate, and those faders on Reaper will replay the same automation, which means that as the audio is going to come back from Reaper this time, played onto the X32 audio engine, and the faders which have been recorded, the faders, the AQs, changes, everything, all the changes which have been recorded are going to be played again and synchronized with the audio coming from Reaper this time. My friend should be able to do a mix and see what I've been doing so far in terms of mixing, and he can actually intervene on that, change things, add things, you know, remove some of the, 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 the changes that I've made, and basically maybe help me do a better mix. Once he's done that uh, using Reaper, I can actually take this back in an X Live 
uh, format and do again another mix. And this back and forth, or you know, using Reaper, using X Live, basically this is the the power of the automation. You can record things. You know, the, the movements of your faders, your changes that you made during your mix are all recorded and synchronized with the audio of your, your mix, which means that you can go from one system to the other. You can stop your session, your mixing session at some point, save the file, come back in your 10 minutes after or two days after, and you find exactly your audio as you mixed it. Um, this is a very powerful tool and it helps you know a lot uh, um, maximizing the use of your x32 if you're in mixing studio or even it helps you a lot you know concentrating on your mix rather than playing with a mouse on reaper or playing with a mouse with any kind of door you know you are really listening to what happens on your mix and basically using your x32 to make all the audio changes this is a wonderful machine uh, for doing audio mixes and it gives you very good results you know in terms of you know, the, the, the results the audio results you have plenty of effects you know lots of tracks you can play with um, the, the, you know many things you can do obviously if you're using Reaper you can do bounces from track to tracks which the X live version does not enable you to uh, enable you to do but I've managed actually to do um, to add to the X live the capability of doing loops uh, on X Live, I'll do a video, a specific video on that, and you can actually loop to some section of your um, audio in the X Live without, you know, leaving the uh, the X32. Uh, same thing, the markers have been added as well, so you can actually uh, use the tool to set markers, add them, remove them, go from one marker marker to the other, um, and play audio from there. Um, so. You know, lots of things that can be done with this tool, and um, I'll let you listen a little bit to the music, which is uh, mixed, and uh, pass the audio file as well as the automation file uh, to my friend in Taiwan. We're at the end of the mix. I'm bringing the uh, main fader down, basically. That's all I'm doing. I'm back at my desk and uh, at my PC. And basically, uh, my program is still running. Um, what I'm going to be doing is uh, uh, saving the mix file that I created, um, and I gave it, uh, uh, giving it a name. Um, let's call it uh, D Blues. The band was Daily Blues, so let's call it D Blues. Um, and that saves two files, um, which are going to be shown in the yellow directory in the back. Okay, uh, so you have a scene file and a .xrr file. Um, the scene file is, is a text file, you know, as any scene file from the X32. So it has all the audio, you know, engine parameters that are, you know, needed to start the X32 mix in the right uh, with the right data and the, uh, the the engine file is actually stored as well as a, a .xrr um, these are the two files that are needed for the automation exiting the program i don't need to save the mix a second time but if if you need you you can do another uh, save it another time now 
all this goes to Taiwan and see what my friend can do with it. Thanks for watching. Um, talk to you soon. Bye.